be something stunning. Wake up a bit. Hurry up, bozo. Come on! God help anybody. If something's wrong on this next ticket, God help them. Hell's Kitchen is incredibly personal for me because it's... It's me at my best. No, you are kidding me. Tonight is about redemption. It's about pride. The purpose of Hell's Kitchen, not just the culinary boot camp, but what they learn across the whole schedule um, is extraordinary. Are you going to leave yes, the chef. section? Come on, get in the game! I'm going to man up. I'm going to take responsibility for my actions. Hell's Kitchen's no joke. I mean, we train intensively as well, but nothing prepares them for the pressure of service. You are in for a crap day. Season 10 prize is phenomenal. It's close to my heart because this year I'm looking for a unique chef that is going to be put on the biggest platform ever in the history of uh, Russian Gordon Ramsay. I'm not just looking for a unique head chef. I'm looking for my head chef <gasps> at Gordon Ramsay Steak at the Paris in Las Vegas. I want that passion, you know, put into the food, put into their cooking. When their own personal issues about who's the best, who's not so good, who's shouting back at one another, when that starts to destroy what they're doing, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flip my lid. And quite frankly, I don't give a what goes on behind the scenes. I just want perfection. Dig, bitch. Go off my station. This is war. Bring your A game. I'm bringing mine. Get out of my side. Get out. Out. Mabel, hey, you get that. You idiot. And Hell's Kitchen will keep it real, not just from the season aspect with the produce, but, you know, as they overcook, undercook, waste produce, you know, we make them understand that that's how restaurants don't function. Just touch these. Touch them. It's stone cold. It's like a wet diaper. I don't know how to wake you up anymore. You can find out a lot from a professional chef just by looking at their food. Congratulations. Yeah. You've just gone past sixth grade. Season 10, if you told me that nine years ago, I'd never believe you. And, uh, yeah, what a journey.